What's going on guys? JPB Duel here. Hope you guys are enjoying your weekend and today I'll be bringing you a really really spicy game. It's a Thunder Dragons vs Prank Kids matchup. I know I have not gotten a Thunder Dragons vs Prank Kids matchup video out I think ever so this will be it. For today's game I am going second and my opponent starts off his turn by using Allure of Darkness. Now if you ever see Allure of Darkness you have to think to yourself your opponent is either playing a Thunder Dragon deck or a Grand Maju Kaiju Gizmek deck because those are the two prevalent decks in Diamond that do run the Allure of Darkness engine draw. The draw engine of Allure of Darkness. So I was hope I was thinking it was one of those. So I chain my maxi. That way if my opponent wants to special, I'll be forcing I'll be drawing cards. Maybe even, you know, have my opponent hesitate to go into full combo. Now the cards he uh, chooses to banish lets me know that he is playing Thunder Dragons. He goes into his combo, specials out the Dragon Dark, goes into the Colossus, and he's gonna search for a Thunder Dragon fusion and end his turn. Now, again, the Maxi made him hesitate to go towards full combo. He could have gone into his Titan. If he was not under Maxi, this would have been a much, much worse board for us to deal with. Now, if you guys look at my hand, it's my turn, right? It's gonna be draw phase. Let's see what card I draw. I draw into a Kaiju. Now, the Colossus locks us out of card draws unless we draw it by our turn. So, I have no starter cards in my hand. I need my Prank Kids Play Search to go through to be able to draw into a starter card. Thankfully, I drew into a Kaiju. So, what's the first thing we do? We Kaiju the Colossus so that way the card lock is gone. I activate Prank Kids Place. My opponent had something that he could have activated because my opponent's side of the field did get highlighted when I was playing the game. So I was thinking maybe he has Ash Blossom. We did not care because I had called by the Grave for the Ash, so I, I would have pushed past it. Now, really important guys, always, always chain block. Since my opponent has a monster on his side of the field, I could chain block my first Grave at activation using my Prank is Place. So that way if he has Ash, he cannot Ash this. Second graveyard activation will be chain blocked by our Doodle Doo. So Fancy's chain link one, Doodle Doo chain link two. That way, if he has any negations towards the graveyard activation, is chain blocked. Doodle Doo searches us for our pranks. Fancy sends to the grave another copy of place. Get my Lambsies on the field. Now you guys will see here right now. My opponent did have something to negate my graveyard activation. As I said before, Skullmeister, right? Skullmeister negates any graveyard activated effects. First chain block, prank is place. Second chain block, doodle doo. The third and the third chain, uh, the third prank is graveyard activation is when it was a completely naked graveyard activation, meaning that I have nothing to chain block with my graveyard activation. That, so that's when my opponent uses his skull maestro to negate that. Thankfully, I had call by the grave, so I use call by negate that. Our combo is still intact. We could push past this and get our butler combo for our, our opponent's turn. So it resolves, negates the Skullmeister, Lampsies burns for 5, special out Roxies, and then we go into Bow Wow Bark, activate the Roxies. So right here, since I know my opponent is playing Thunder Dragons, usually Thunder Dragons do not have any back row sets, okay? They don't have any spell traps that they used to set in their back row sites from maybe Imperm or Forbidden if they are running it. But aside from that, we don't care about the back row. So I banish the Harpy's Feather Duster draw into effect filler. Effect filler, a really nice draw against Thunder Dragon because in case he goes into Titan, we could negate the Titan using the effect filler. So over here, I end my turn, activate pranks, recycle three cards. I was hoping to draw into a, co co a combo piece I need for the Butler combo because as I explained to you guys before, if you have a combo piece for a Butler in your hand, you could just use Bow Wow Bark to recycle the uh, to get the two other cards you need for the butler combo into your hand that way if you have nibiru you get three raigekis on your opponent you first nibiru them on their after if they push past five special that's one raigeki if they have combo extension then you go into your pandemonium into your battle butler and battle butler gives you two more pops that's three pops of raigeki in total for your opponent so i was hoping to draw into it but i drew into a ghost spell again Ghost Bell, really, really good draw to draw into. Ghost Bell can help us negate the Thunder Dragon Fusion because Thunder Dragon Fusion says 
You could take cards from your graveyard, from your field, or from your banishment pile, recycle them, and then special summon out a fusion monster. Ghost Bell negates that. So you guys will see, he's gonna start off his turn by Thunder Dragon Fusion, which we know because he searched for Thunder Dragon Fusion on turn one. I use Ghost Bell to negate that. I do not want that to go through. I do not want to deal with a Titan threat on the field. So negate that. He, he normals out Lupine. Now, if you guys know Thunder Dragon's deck, you know Lupine is a combo starter card for the Thunder Dragon's deck. I had an opportunity to Ash or Effect Baylor the Lupine, but I chose not to do it. I was hoping to... In my mind, I was thinking, he still has two cards in his hand. We don't know what those two cards are. Those two cards could be combo extension cards that he could have used to push past my negation of Lupine and maybe even gotten Thunder Dragon Titan or something on the field that would be really hard for me to deal with. So I chose to let this combo go through because I still had the Panda play to go into my Battle Butler. So he banishes a Dragon Dark, the Matrix. He activates the Dragon Dark, activates the Matrix. We are okay with it. Searches for another Matrix, and Dragon Dark searches him for a OG Thunder Dragon. So he gets all that. We know two cards in his hand. We know the two cards in his hand are Dragon Dark, I'm sorry, OG Thunder Dragon and Thunder Dragon Matrix. I'm still not sure about the other two cards. So right here, again, I had a choice, okay? I could have gone into my nib play, meaning that I could have nibbed my opponent if he pushed past, past five specials, but my opponent was going to end his turn right here go into battle phase. That's why I was forced to use Pandemonium to go into my battle butler and could not use my Nibiru play. My opponent could have just said that, you know, I'll keep these two cards in the field and maybe go into battle phase, kill off his fanzies, and then even end his turn. That would have been really harmful to us because we would not be able to access battle butler. And there is no guarantee for Nibiru as well. So my opponent kind of forced my Pandemonium play so I did Pandemonium play. Go into Butler, activate my Graveyard activations, and you guys know I love getting two Dropsies on the field because it forces out either one attack from your opponent or they end up using one Banish or one Bounce on one of your Dropsies because otherwise that's a guarantee totally awesome on your field. So as you guys see, he goes instantly into Battle Phase. I use one of my Butler Pops. Now keep in mind, he already used up his normal summon. Main Phase 2, he specials out Chaos Creator. Okay, I'm okay with it. He targets the three cards in his graveyard, in his banishment pile, one of them being the Colossus. He would have specialed out the Colossus on the field, so I negate that using Effect Pillar. I do not want that to go through. He activates the Hawk in his hand, gets the Roar on the field, and then Link Climbs to do Plant Virtue Anaconda. Now you guys know what this Virtue Anaconda would go into with Thunder Dragons. With Thunder Dragons, it would either be into the Thunder Dragon Fusion into the Titan, or DPE play. So he activates Roar in his graveyard. I Ash Blossom that. That way it would negate that. And then I use Butler on the field to pop my own Butler to pop his Predator Plant. I do not want him going into anything. That ends my opponent's play. So I played past his whole combo through his combo extension and we just negated everything and disrupted everything that he put on the field. My opponent passes his turnover. Now, we know the two cards in his hand are the OG Thunder Dragon and the Thunder Dragon Matrix. I'm still not sure what the other card is. If I knew, I if I know, I know. If I don't, I don't, right? So, first of all, we go into Totally Awesome. So that way, we at least have one negate on the field towards anything that he does in this turn or next turn. Then we use our fanzies to go into our combo. Now, with this, I was going to go into my, I believe, Access Code Talker combo. I could have killed my opponent this turn with the totally awesome plus the access code, but I play it safe, go towards my uh, towards my Predator Plan play of the uh, Thunder Dragon Fusion into Battle Butler. That's why I activated the Doodle Doo, got a card in my hand, Frankis card, that, that I could have gotten a token on the field, gone into Link Spider, into Predator Plan, into either DPE or Battle Butler on the field. As you guys saw, I recycled Battle Butler with my Doodle Doo as well. And seeing this, my opponent just outright scooped. Anyways, that's going to be the end of the game, guys. If you guys do like this kind of games, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing to my channel for more daily prankest videos, and maybe coming watching me on Twitch if you guys are interested in the live version of these games. With that being said, this is JPB Duel signing off for today. See you guys in the next video. Peace!